What's up guys, Eric here with driverlineup.com, world's okay steering wheel holder. It was cold this morning, 62 degrees. It is not cold right now. We've been idling for the last hour. It's freaking burning hot. And I forgot to do something. I forgot to. This is a really sad story, you guys. Sad state of affairs here. When you don't have a big freezer, and you have to throw away let's see this would be one, two, three, four, six uh, 12 pounds 12 actually it's more than no there's a 5 pound bag 30, 60 pounds 60 pounds of crinkle cut fries and tater rounds oh, heartbreaking Absolutely heartbreaking. We don't even have room for one of those five pound bags. So it, they, this is like, man, a food banker, and I know this is easier than it sounds, but a food banker, especially a big truck stop like this, this is a Basel, Baselman in Grand Island, should set up, get an old beat up reefer trailer where the reefer works, set it up over here where you got US foods and some stuff, and just let us fill it up with stuff. Because it like they, they said these were damaged, and yeah, they are. The boxes are damaged. I think they damaged them, but none of the bags are damaged. So it's just waste, just wasted food. We couldn't find anybody around here to take it. Um, anyway, got a call from a fleet manager this afternoon. So we had taken kind of today off. We had to do some paperwork and stuff, get some things taken care of, and I explicitly said. We cannot and will not leave until 2200 p.m. because I got to get sleep. And so sales is like trying to pre-plan us on stuff all day long that was supposed to be picked up days ago. Yesterday they tried to pre-plan us something that was supposed to be picked up two days ago. So we got a pre-plan, a third pre-plan, which I'm sure they thought there's no way we're going to say no. It was over $3 a mile. That had to be picked up by four o'clock this afternoon. Well, that obviously wasn't gonna work. Paid over $3 a mile. So I was like, bro, I'm not trying to be difficult in my message, I said, but I've been pretty clear. I don't wanna leave this lot until 2200. And that load has to be run down to Denver by uh, eight or nine in the morning. And if I don't leave here until 2200, even if you open up that old window, oh one window, I still can't make it. So that's not gonna work. So he calls me and he's like, bro, they're in bad shape right now. They're short a lot of trucks in Grand Island, Nebraska, which is crazy to me because this is on I-80. How are you short trucks in Grand Island, Nebraska? Uh, well, this pickup would be in Crete. So a hundred miles down the road, but in this whole area, how are you short trucks? But anyway, they're short trucks. Like there's lots of loads sitting around here that aren't getting picked up. They're being left on the docks. Good paying loads too. They're like 250, $3 plus per mile. And they're just sitting up here and we're losing these loads. So it's so desperate, you guys, that here's what he said to me. He was like, sales, I have it in writing. I'm gonna send it to you. They just told me, if you can go pick it up, even if you miss the 90, they're gonna waive the uh, the failure of service, the service failure, they're gonna waive it. And he's like, even if the customer won't accept it at the 90, like if they're gonna make us reschedule or something, just go drop it at the Denver yard. That's crazy. They're literally saying, we're so desperate to get these loads moved that we'll waive the, uh, the service failure and you can just take it and drop it at the yard. So I'm like, all right, man, I, you know, yeah, I, I'm game for that. There's a prime truck just waving at me. So probably sees me out here YouTubing. So anyway, uh, so I ended up getting sleep and now, now I, I'm like challenge accepted. So now I want to rock over there to Creek, get this load and try to get it there on time. Cause I actually got good sleep. I even just got a shower. Lyle, no hippie trucking and transportation. I know you like 80s music because you talked to Jenna about it. At Baselman, they have good speakers out in the hallways 
and I just got to start my day just waking up in the shower with good bass, good music playing Peter Gabriel and other good stuff from that era while showering. There's no better way to start the day. <laughs> I love 80s music. Anyway, uh, a lot of shit happened yesterday and this morning too, but I'm not going to get into that. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update, let you know, hey, if you're willing to deadhead up here to Nebraska, apparently there's a lot of really good paying loads they can't get trucks to. Um, so I don't know if that's an option to you, but I just thought it was interesting. All right, I'm going to get on the road, you guys. Be safe out there. Make good decisions. And as always, drive to thrive. Talk to you soon.